proudly we hail. Hello from Hollywood. This is C.P. McGregor speaking and welcoming you to another performance of your War Department program, Proudly We Hail. Through the courtesy of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee, we present the brilliant actress, Miss Lynn Barry, who will star in our play title, But Where Was the Groom?, written by Barbara Owens with music by Eddie Skrivanek. <laughs> The little church around the corner is hushed with the joyous expectancy of a wedding about to begin. Outside, curious onlookers gather in hope of a glimpse of the happy couple. Then, amid the strains of Lohengrin, a wild-eyed man rushes into the church and a few seconds later dashes down the steps with an excited groom in tow. An irate bride, her wedding gown gathered up in anything but a ladylike manner, runs down the church steps just in time to see her groom drive off. Rushing out into the street, she hails a passing car. Hurry, follow that car. Say, what is this? Don't ask any questions, just follow that car. Now, look now, don't you think you might tell me what this is all about? Watch what you're doing, they're turning the corner. How long is this going to take? I've got a date. Is that all you can think of at a time like this? If you just let me in on what we're chasing It's at... my husband-to-be. Oh, that explains the wedding gown. Right, boy. <laughs> Thanks. Can't this crate go any faster? Uh, I've got the jet propulsion turned off. Very funny. Don't you think it's a little unladylike to chase after the poor guy? Well, what would you suggest? Well, after all, he's obviously trying to lose you. For your information, he's been kidnapped. Hm, that's a new one. Right out of the church, huh? From under my very nose. Did he struggle? Well, I... I, I take it he didn't. Well, it all happened so fast, I... I think the man had a gun. Did you see a gun? Oh, tend to your driving. Mm-hmm, no gun. Did he say anything? Who, Jim? Well, if that's his name. The man said, you've got to come right away. Clarissa, Clarissa's... And then he didn't say any more. And what did Jim say? He said, oh, my God. And then? They ran out. Doesn't sound like kidnapping to me. Oh, it was. Jim wouldn't do a thing like that. How long have you known Jim? Three weeks. Well, fast worker, aren't you? Getting married was Jim's idea. Sounds like a case of another woman to me. Oh, I don't believe it. Okay, be an ostrich. I'm not an ostrich. Lady, you've been jilted. Now, let's turn around and let me take you home. Oh, huh? I can't. I'd be the laughingstock of all my friends. Well, what do you think following him is going to get you? Well, I don't know, but I've got to find out. Now, look, they're heading right out of town, and I've got a date. Don't you have any chivalry? I lost it at the age of five. And my best girl swiped my ice cream cone and gave it to another little boy. Oh, please. This is practically a matter of life and death. They have a high-powered car. We'll never catch them. They're bound to stop somewhere. Okay, you win. I... I don't see the car anymore. Do you? I didn't think we would. Well, that's funny. I could have sworn they turned into this road. Well, they didn't. Then we've lost them? Mm. You go to the head of the class. Well, can't we go back to the main road and pick up the trail? We're going home. Oh, you wouldn't. Not after we've come this far. Oh, wouldn't I? Quitter. Oh, you're out of your mind. You are. You're a quitter. You can't take it when the going gets tough. Now, just a minute. I was driving along, minding my own business, when you came rushing out into the street like a, 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 a crazy woman and made me chase a guy who was jilting. He wasn't jilting me. He was... Shut up. Oh. Well, you made me chase this guy for miles. You, you made me miss my date with a cute little trick. Cute little trick, cute little trick. Is that all you can think about? Yes. Now we're lost in the wilderness, miles from civilization. And you have the nerve to call me a quitter. I suppose that my life being upset means absolutely nothing. That, I've never seen you before in my life. How would you feel if it was your sister in a position like this? Wouldn't you like to know that some kind man was helping her? I don't have a sister. Well, suppose you did. Well, I wouldn't have a sister like you. That was unkind. I'm sorry, but we're going home right now. <laughs> oh, for the love of Pete. Stop there. I guess I could cry. I want to. Well, not in my car. All right, then. Throw me out. Go on, throw me out. It would be just like you. Oh, nuts. Please, just follow a little longer. Nothing doing. 
Your heart must be made of stone. Go ran it. You'll be sorry for this. <laughs> I'm sorry already. But something will happen to you. Like what? I don't know, but it will. All right. Make it happen. I won't have anything to do with it, but you'll be punished. Hmm. That's interesting. I can hardly wait. Blow oh. out. <sighs> Why, you... I, I had nothing to do with it. You know I didn't. I'm going now to... Now keep away from me or I'll scream. <laughs> In just a moment, we will continue with our play starring Lynn Barry. But first, here's an important message from the War Department. What high school graduate could go straight to an interesting, responsible job paying $3,000 a year? Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Yet many of the men graduated this year from our high schools are doing just that by enlisting in the regular army. The pay of a private equals, in actual cash and benefits, that of a civilian earning a $3,000 yearly salary. For a young man of 17, 18, or 19, the Army is full of opportunities. He may enlist for 18 months, two years, or three years, and if he signs up for three years, he has his choice of branch of service and overseas theater of those still open. It means training and experience in the field he selects and working with the most modern equipment. A man who serves in our new regular Army is preparing himself for a useful job, and he may choose to make a lifetime career of the Army thus taking advantage of its high retirement pay. There are many other advantages, too. If you are a recent high school graduate, your local recruiting officer will be glad to talk over with you the advantages of Army life. Why not see him today? Act Two of But Where Was the Groom, starring Lynn Barry as Liz. Liz warned Flip something would happen to him if he didn't help her, and something did. They had a flat tire, and to make matters worse, it started to rain. <sighs> Flip. Yeah? I'm sorry. What good does that do me? All right, then, I'm not sorry. Anyone who doesn't have a spare tire in his car deserves to be out in the rain. Do you mind not talking to me? I find it easier to keep my temper that way. <gasps> Are you... Well, I told you to wait for me in the car. Alone? Don't worry. No one would come near you. That's... <gasps> mean. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here. I don't want your coat. Put it on. Oh, you'll freeze. I couldn't be any worse off than I am. But... Put it on. Well, thanks. That's awfully sweet of you. Mm. Just self-preservation. What do you mean? I don't want to have to carry you home. Oh. I don't think there is a service station around here. We'll find one. Well, at least it stopped raining. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea where we are? Oh, somewhere around Westminster, I think. Westminster? Oh, Flip, that's wonderful. I'm glad you like it. Well, Jim has a farm in Westminster. Oh, he's a farmer? He raises prize horses. This must be where he came. Ah, then you admit he wasn't kidnapped. I'm not admitting anything. They might be holding him a prisoner in his own home. Do you know where the place is? Maybe they'll drive me into town. Look, Willoughby Farm. This must be it. How do you figure that out? Jim Willoughby, Willoughby Farm. Simple. Well, come on, then. Do, do you have a gun? Oh, don't be stupid. You don't really believe he was kidnapped. No. There must be someone home. Every light in the house is on. Flip, I don't want to go in. What? Well, you're going in. Maybe I shouldn't have come. You know, after I leave here, I hope I never see another female as long as I live. There isn't anyone home. How do you know? I can see in the window. Well, come on. Where are you going? Around to the back of the house. But no one's home. I'm going to make sure. Oh, what now? Look, there's a man with a flashlight over by the barn. Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. Hey! Hey, you! He's got a gun. Oh, he has not. Hey, mister! Keep quiet over there. That's the man, Flip. That's the man who kidnapped Jim. Quiet, quiet. What is this? What's going on here? What have you done with Jim? Please, I'll have to ask you to be quiet. Where is Jim? He's in there with Clarissa. She 
Rogers had a hard time. Well, I'm going in. You can't go in there. And why not, may I ask? Yeah, who says she can't? Please be quiet. Oh, Joe. Oh, yes, yes. It's all right. It's all over. Jim. Oh, thank God. Well, who's with you? Oh, my Liz. What are you doing here? And who is this man? His name is Flip. He helped me to follow you here. Oh, darling, I am sorry. It was a shabby thing to do. We'll be married tomorrow. Will we? Well, I couldn't help it. It was Clarissa. She's my prized brood mare. Oh. Well, she needed me, Liz. Mm. Surely you understand that. Mm. She had a little cold just now, and they're both doing just fine. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> well, congratulations to you both. Oh, shut <laughs> up, you fool. Uh, Jim, I'm going to borrow your car. I'll send it back in the morning. Anything you say, dear, and we'll go through with our plans tomorrow. Here's your ring. Give it to Clarissa. She can wear it through her nose. <laughs> Well, go on. Laugh. Laugh all you want to. I'm not laughing, Liz. You aren't? I think you're pretty terrific. How about making up for that date I missed tonight? Why, Flip, how nice. Say, you don't raise horses, do you? Hate them. Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> This is C.P. McGregor speaking. I hope you've enjoyed our Proudly We Hail story starring Lynn Barry. And now Mr. Forbes has an important message for you. The United States Army is interested in all eligible young men who want to establish themselves in a worthy and productive profession. Perhaps you've just finished school and are wondering how to get started. Maybe you're already employed but would like to improve your position. It may be that you're interested in learning a special skill or trade at the same time being assured of a comfortable salary and the prospect of retirement on a substantial income. You are the man the Army needs. Ambitious, far-sighted, capable men willing to be trained and educated in any one of many fields. In this age of scientific discovery and development, the Army must keep ahead in its research. Army engineers have developed a sniper scope which throws an invisible shaft of light enabling one to see in the dark. Air Force technicians have constructed a push-button plane that can take off, fly distances up to 400 miles, and land safely with no human hand at the controls. Accomplishments like these give the Army a record of achievement in science, medicine, engineering, and practically all fields. Thus, our new regular Army is composed of technically trained, educated men. It is a career of individual development, self-improvement. With the live wire energetic young man, there is no better deal. Few careers can offer you so much. The new revised pay schedule, dependency allowances, retirement benefits, overseas service, flight and longevity pay give you a good financial return in addition to your free food, clothing, lodging, and medical care. You may enlist for 18 months, two years, or three years. Above all, at the expiration of your service, you will emerge a man skilled in the particular line of work for which you've been trained. If you are looking for a career that is really worthwhile, consult your local Army recruiting station and see how much our new regular Army has to offer you. Thank you, Miss Lynn Barry, for appearing on our show. Another Proudly We Hail program will come to you over this station next week. Listen in. <laughs>